Hi everyone, Mary Espresso Press Design. Thank you for joining me today, September 24th, 2024. It's an, another break in the 12 by 12s because I couldn't find one that was a little different from the things we've already been doing. Although I might have found one last night, but I fell asleep, so I didn't get to watch it all. So we're going to have a little, another little break until I find two that aren't similar to what we've already done. So let me get the housekeeping out of the way. Well, not out of the way, but um, first, thank you to everyone who purchased a product, left a kind review, commented on my videos, um, shared anything, favorited anything, um, to Amanda, Lynn, Leslie, Elaine, Marianne, Juanita, Cherry, Carice, and Stacy. Um, Cherry left a lovely comment that made me very happy. She said, something like stunning this made me happy when she um, printed her product so that made me happy and thank you Bridget Jones for your kind comments about my young looking hands that also made my day and um, Print and Pixel Studio had a great response to their video and they've come up with part two and that's Debbie and Patty and I think I said print and pixel studios last time it is print and pixel studio so um, thank you so much to them and I'm glad their viewers are having a lot of fun with the laminated wax paper so we're going to make some more spools today but let me show you the newest products um, this is an Etsy if you're getting ready for fall just simple beautiful autumn leaves collection paper collection and um, Delicate florals. I think it's delicate florals. Um, paper collection and ephemera. So there's florals. Great for anything. Ephemera. And a couple of pages like this. I wish there was more like this, but this is so sweet. Sweet little paper collection there and they're kind of I don't know like wildflowers weeds very cute and the background reminds me of linen so it's very nice so another collection I have to do something with so we began this began circle punch projects one of my most used items are my circle punches and they are showing the wear <laughs> to prove it this one jammed a couple times this is probably going to be replaced pretty soon so you'll need your circle punches you'll need some packaging I have a bunch of packaging here I have some scraps for making smaller circles and um, I am using today I am using um, industrial florals paper collection just have a few little pieces left here and that's what I'm going to be using today you'll need some glue and you'll need your ribbon because we're going to make a couple different new spools. So, this began with 
what to do with circles and circle punches. And it also began with all of this kind of stuff because I have ribbon and lace in several different places and then I always forget about it. Not a big ribbon and lace fan anyway, but I always forget about it. Stuff like this. And it's time to get it better organized. And, which I'm sure I don't have them in front of me, of course. I made a couple of those spools that you can make with an envelope punch board. And then I thought, oh, here they are. Here they are. Nice. They're nice. Of course they're nice. But what if you don't have one? So I came up with these little spools. And you can decorate these spools as much as you want. As I did here. And here, if you want to put them in Happy Mail or tuck them in a journal, or if you just want them to be utilitarian, you can stack your little ribbon in a box, and then you can see immediately what colors you have and what you have. And these are the first ones that we made, um, similar to this. And today we're going to make a couple different ones. <clears throat> One is a little smaller. How cute is that? I don't know how those could be any cuter, but more cute, but they are. And then we're going to make some like this. And then we're going to make little tiny ones for storing your little snippets because those get out of hand too. And I did make one little one last week for, you can use these as an embellishment, hang a little charm off the ribbon. You go as far or as little as you want. I just thought maybe you might want to tuck these in a journal with some little extra ribbon. And that pin isn't necessary, but... It was in there, so I just needed a place to put it. And these ones also have a so-called thread catcher because it drives me crazy when ribbon, as it is prone to do, especially this silk satin ribbon, is so slippery. It drives me crazy when it unravels. So, um, you know... You can go as much as you want or as little as you want. Just do the basics. Okay, so let's get started. And I'm going to tell you what you need. Oh, and another thing I forgot to say, which I did add to another video. If you wanted to do something like this for Happy Mail, or in a journal and you just want to tuck some little extra things you can pop a button on there sew a button on your circle and then uh, glue it to your spool and you have a very cute little happy mail ephemera, ephemera extra piece of ephemera if you like to add those kind of things to your journal so that people can decorate how they want. So I forgot to add that last time. So what you'll need for the first one is a two and a half by two and a half square. And I have three here. We'll do as many as we can. And you will need a five inch by two and a half inch strip. Of course, you can make them any size you want, but 
I was going by my largest punch. As I said before, I really wish I had a, some more larger circle punches. And I made a little template like last time. I made two little templates. And um, I'm just, you can watch the first vis video to see how I made the templates. But basically, I just folded it in half vertically and horizontally and then punched the one side after it was folded in half to get a mirror half circle. And that's what we want. And then this one, I just, I didn't fold it, fold it, just went like that and got my mirror so that each half circle is identical. And then it was just a matter of uh, punching my little circle. So you'll also need a couple of punches like this if you have them. Standard size, and I think this is one eighth. So that's what we're going to need today. And it's very, very simple. And as you can see, I've done quite a few of these this week. Just using scraps. Get rid of my scrap ribbon. And get it in, in a box. Or at least with my other ribbon in the same place. Because as I said, I have a ribbon in, I don't know, three, four different places. Maybe more. Who knows? So, we're just going to take our first two and a half. This is two and a half by two and a half. So it's basically a little square. And then I just get it on my square. Take a marker or a pen or pencil that I can see. Trace my little half circles. And there we have it. Wait, I'm going to do, might as well do all of them while I'm here. My little punch circles. Then I take my, don't need my one inch punch for this. This is my one and a half. Line it up with the marker. A little bit beyond. If you don't want the marker edge. If you want a pre-inked edge. Just use the color of your choice and keep it in there. There we go. There we have our little spool. Very cute. I probably should have did that that way, but oh well. Doesn't matter. And we punch out our circles. I did not bring my reinforcements over here. I forgot about that. I'd have to go get those if I want to do that on these, which actually I didn't do that on most of these, so I'm not going to worry about it. But if you wanted a reinforcer on there, you could add one. So I'll make another one while I'm at it. This one looks a little larger. <laughs> I swear every time when I did those envelope 
punch board ones. I actually put my two pieces together so I could cut them at the same time. So they were definitely identical. Whoops. Forgot again. So I hope everyone's doing well. We're beginning the rainy season. Hard to believe in a short while we might have snow. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of, um, it was a beautiful summer. Not so much for me though, but too much, too much sadness going on with my brother. And he was in the hospital and now he's back in the nursing home and now they have COVID and no one's allowed to visit, which is great. So we just got back in yesterday and now no one's allowed to go visit. I hate to say it, but, um, He's rapidly declining. If you didn't hear that, um, his aide found him unconscious on Father's Day. They don't know what happened, possibly a seizure. They don't know how long he had been there. His aide comes three times a week. Did come three times a week. And he could have been there as long as two days. But he basically, aside from physically, um, uh, Mentally, whatever happened, it wasn't a stroke. But he has brain damage that doesn't seem to be getting better. So... which it should have by now, if it was going to. So that's, that's the story of that. So, okay, there's three. Very cute, and we're gonna add some more stuff to this so it ends up more <clears throat> like this. And we can use all our circle punches and this is for packaging or whatever. Maybe you have a Etsy shop and you like to package your things cute. And or the, for your journal, like I said, if you like to tuck little things like that in your journals. And if you just want to leave it like this, you don't even have to punch both holes actually. So, let me just get some extra little paper here and make a couple little circles on there that will look pretty together. And I think I'll go 
I'm going to put these on packaging as well. So let me get me some junk packaging here. What's that doing in there? Um, I like to use these just so I can use my packaging that likely won't be used for anything else. And that way I don't waste anything. So let me get, um, I think I'll go for the stripe. Hopefully I get two out of here. Better go like this because this punch is starting to get a dull edge and it works better if I double it. Never ends. And you can use your cheap glue for this, these projects, but for the sake of drying time, I'm using my good book binding glue. So then we just create a one inch circle. I don't really need to cover the back, so I won't. And then we get a little one eighth inch circle, five eighths inch circle. And I can't believe I even managed. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. I didn't want that part. Let me get a different part here. I didn't want that. <laughs> didn't want that rough back. Okay. So. Hopefully I'm in frame here the whole time. Really not paying attention. Um, okay, so I have that. Let me get a little of this. Collectinea. That paper goes with everything. Try to get some of that text. I'm going to glue that on my little cardboard packaging. But on the bright side, the dogs are doing fine. I cannot believe the transformation in this dog who was never, well, rarely in the house. Sometimes he could get her to go in, but rarely. She came from the Amish. Who knows? She was in a cage. Who knows how they, she was treated, but possibly she was not allowed in the house and that's why she's so terrified of everything. And um, <clears throat> so it was, and she was never properly socialized, doesn't know, um, any commands, never had on a leash, uh, but the transformation is amazing. So what I did was I put two little dots, I'm sorry about my hand, it's either my blood sugar or my B vitamins, I cannot get my blood sugar under control lately and that's not good <laughs> so I made two little dots similar to a button and then I actually did manage 
to use my one eighth punch and punch a little button in there. Hopefully you can see that. And then I actually threaded some string through there and made a little knot like so. I'll try to do that again. I'm going to be generous here. Hopefully I can get that through each, each side, each hole. If you want to make that thread um, non-frayable non and turn it into a needle, Put some glue on your fingers and that'll work. Okay, there we go. Just put a little tie in there. Snip it off. It's not going to go anywhere because I'm going to put glue on the back. And then I want a little hole in this one. Kind of make it like a little charm. Like that. And this will be our decorated one. Whoops, certainly didn't need that much glue to glue that little button on there. Okay, um, stay. Okay, then I'm going to get about eight inches of thread, twine. Let's just start over. I put that in my spool before I tied that twice. That's what I did. And that's how bad they were getting. And I have no idea why that would even happen. Let's do this lighter one so there's a little contrast. Um, and this, my feet still hurt. My feet and ankles still hurt from those cramps. Okay. This is how we did it. We went through the spool. a little more even and then we just made a tie and then we just tied another one at the end and my hands are swelled up today that's not good Tell you what, getting old sucks. Oops, I shouldn't have said that, but you know what I mean. Because I didn't have any of this two years ago. And now it's like can't control anything. I lost 40 pounds. 
thinking that would do it. Didn't. There, that took way longer than it should have. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, there's number one. Probably won't get to three, but there you go. Wait, let me put something on. Wait a minute. Another thing. You're going to make a little slit in this bottom hole with your scissors. Uh, let me get something here. How much of this do I have? That might have to go on a large one. Um, how much of this this will fit? Probably. This is actually some nice paper. I can keep this for something else. Okay, so then we're going to get this wound on here. You don't really have to um, put the back, the first, first row in a thread catcher, but you can if you want. I'll show you how the thread catcher works at the end. And I'm not going to make this as neat as it should be for time's sake. I'm going to hope it fits on here without needing a larger spool. That's why I went to the larger spools because some of this is pretty long. I'll just rewind something better on it for the photo if need be, and it looks like need be. So then your other little piece, <clears throat> your tail, it's just gonna go through that little slit. Try to get it not to catch. Come on, it's kind of like a bread clip. And then there you go. It's not going to unravel. That doesn't look too good, but I'll fix that later with a different ribbon or something because we got to get moving. So there's one that's decorated for your happy mail. Okay, so let's get to this one. And it's the same thing. Just going to take our marker. Put our um, cutting line, trace our cutting line. And this is five by two and a half. That's this one. And we're going to do the same thing. And then we're going to measure, you can just do that by eye. I'm going to come down here to my ruler here to the two and a half inch mark, which is the middle. And I probably went up about, I don't know quarter, half an inch. Marked a little dot. Depends if you want a reinforcer. 
you got to leave room. You have to leave enough space for that. And then, or just find a place on your um, punch. Put a little sharpie line there so you always get the right depth. That's a good little trick. And then you're going to put another little slit in there. And that's how you do that one. So I'm going to take this long piece off here because it really needs a longer spool. And then you'll see how this one looks. And then we'll quickly do some circles. Hopefully quickly. <laughs> They're kind of similar. And then I'll just show you some other ideas. One is derived from my packaging from my craft show. Okay. So then here you go if you if you need a longer spool which some of this ribbon actually does. And you've made your own spools and they're pretty and you just stack them in a box. I didn't stack any of these longer ones but that would be the same. You just stack them this way so you can see all your colors or you can stack them this way and this one is cr crying out for a tab on top if you want to do something like that and then again did I put my slit yes I did you just take your little tail go through there like a bread tab loaf of bread package tab close close closure and there you have that spool okay so the little circles there is this design and you'll need three punches for that and there is this design and you'll only need one punch for that two punches for that so let me see if I have some appropriate circles in here that are already completed and I'll just use those and make sure they're sturdy enough I only found one I'm sure I do it's just a matter of finding them Okay, there's two. Two little circles, same back and front, covered on packaging. And you take your 5 8 punch. I'm going to do that in this one. Wait, I have something in there. And hopefully this doesn't jam this time. And you just, with this particular punch, I'm going the whole way to the end. Because there's not a lot of space. Yay, did it. So you have something like that. And then you're going to take... I can find a little piece here and you're just gonna roll that in there this one doesn't go as fast that's why it's great for little snippets so I'm just gonna roll that in there Jeez, 
couldn't have picked a better. This has a little peach and a little gold in it. <laughs> Looks very cute with this orange ribbon. You can hang these from a little bulb pin too. If you want to use these for a little embellishment. Okay, almost fully wound there. And then you're going to take your ribbon. Better get a pair of sharp scissors here. And then you're going to make this as much as a point as you possibly can. And hope this ribbon isn't too thick to do this. And you're going to find a little place here on the side. And you're going to poke a little hole with your 5 8 punch. And how did I do that? Do I have enough room to go through the back? And then you're going to thread that point, hopefully. Hopefully this ribbon isn't too thick to go through that hole. No, it worked. And you're just going to thread it through there to catch your little ribbon, like so. Okay, where's my other circle? Did I lose you already? Okay, this one is self-explanatory too. You're going to take your standard punch and you're just going to go in a certain depth. I have a little curve there on my punch. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Okay, got it. And you're going to go to the other side. Try to line them up as best you can. And then you're going to put two slits. One in the top. One in the bottom. And then I'm just going to take this off here and redo it so it, because I'm pretty sure I don't have another little snippet of, of lace. This is good for your sm small pieces that you just keep on your craft table when you need a small piece of lace or whatever. And that helps keep those tidy. So I'm talking things like this. And then you're just going to thread it through your little, it's like a bread clip, double bread clip. Wait a second, I have to hold that in place. Then you're just going to wind your thread, lace, through each hole, through each clip, snip. And there you have it. Nice, neat, and not driving you crazy anymore. Okay, so let's get these organized a little bit. And then I want to show you a couple more ideas here. Let me get this closed. Okay, 
I'll decorate the rest of those and do the rest of those for the photo. So there's our long one. There's our two unfinished. There's our cute little one. And there's our little circle ones. And there's another long one. I just used scraps. Oh, you know what? You know what I forgot to do to both of these? I took my curved, my double curve, and that's how I made those pretty little corners. Let's see something else that made these extra. I didn't put that in there, right? That needs a repair. Okay, let me get something here. Something white. Oh, and I just dropped a pen. So I took that double curve, and that's how I made those pretty little corners on that particular one, on both of them actually. That needs a repair too. I didn't get that in the punch right. So I did that to both of those. And that's what made it look very Victorian. Don't forget to do that if you have those punches because that actually adds a lot. That adds a lot to it <laughs> to make it extra pretty. Let me pick up this pen before I step on it. Just tuck that in there for now. Okay. So another thing that came up with this, this was my packaging for my elastic bookmarks. And um, that's another thing you can do. I didn't, I didn't, um, you can do it like that with a larger hole, put a slit in each end. You can do it like that with a standard punch, put a slit in each end. Although this one only has one hole and the elastic just wrapped around twice. So that's, that's another thing you can do to store, <clears throat> especially like embroidery thread, elastic, things like that and just keep it neat in your craft room so okay everyone this is longer than expected thanks to my faux pas I'll try to cut out I'll try to edit edit that out why are you coming undone Oh my god, did my knot slide? Yes, it did. <laughs> my knot slid. Okay, there we go. I will edit that out and try to cut this video down as much as possible. But there you have it. And um, we'll probably be doing some more circle punch things. At least one or two. And then I'll try to get back on schedule and finish up the 12 by 12 series at 20 12 by 12s, which was my goal. So thanks for your time, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.